It's one big party. I got the Plastic Cup boys in the building. My man, Spank Horton, Joey Wells, and Naeem Lynn. Listen, guys, um, it's no secret you guys work with Kev. You, you guys are good friends. Now, he hooked y'all up with some old school cars. Which car did each one of y'all get? And is that something that you, is that a car that he had heard you speak about? Or did he get you a car according to your personalities? He tried to get cars to match our personalities, but it didn't, it didn't really pan out that way. That's not what happened. Harry asked everybody on the plane, what kind of car would you want? Yeah. For, well, he didn't get the car that I wanted. He he got the car that I wanted for himself. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. But you got a, you got a Chevelle. I wanted yeah, the 70s Chevelle, though. I wanted the 70s. Oh, oh yeah, you wanted them niggas. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You want yeah. a 70. I said a 70. <laughs> I'm sorry, I said a 70. He gave me the 69. I'm like, yo, the 70 is because okay, I'm 6'5. And the 70 is much bigger than the 69. So he got the 70 for himself and then gave me the 69. Like, well, no, nah, bro, I, I wanted the 70. I showed y'all which one I was because I was going to buy one at the end of the tour anyway. So he okay. just saved me some money, you know. Oh, okay. I, I got the bug. Let's go to somebody that's more appreciative, Joy. No, yeah, I talk definitely. Because I, I, my first car in college was a bug, and I was like, "Yo, eventually I'm gonna get another '69 bug just because, and I'm gonna get a different old school." So they got when they got, I saw the bug. I was like, "Man!" Uh, but Harry also, you know, told me that it was a '56. It's an oval shape, so way better than the '69. So, um, yeah, I'm in a good place. Yeah, Joey cried too. I did. Yeah, you cried. Yeah, I did. I was the most ungrateful I because I didn't want it. <laughs> <clears throat> I didn't want the shit. I, they asked me, if you could have any old school car, what would you get? I said, I don't want one. <laughs> you don't like old, Naeem, hold on, man. You don't like old school cars. They're the best cars, man. They're straight steel. The motors was big. Nobody had these regulations on gas, mm -hmm. emissions. You could stomp on that bitch and go from zero to 160 and be riding with a slab of steel. You don't like old school cars? Mm -hmm. Ain't no old school car faster than what I got in my garage, unless they got it soup souped up. So I just didn't want that. Yo. They're not they're not fun to drive. I had a, a 69 GTO, which was a nice, nice looking car. Nice. But on. I mean, the seats were uncomfortable. They were kind of flat. There was no uh, middle console. So when you hit a corner, you end up in the in the passenger, in the passenger seat. seat. Yeah. That's yeah. part of it. Not if you wear your seatbelt. I had the seatbelt only go on your waist. Yeah. <laughs> it's a roller coaster. And if you crash into something, ain't no airbag, you're dead. And you call me ungrateful. This nigga so I just said I'm the <laughs> I just said I'm the most ungrateful. Yeah, I I gave it back to him. He was supposed to buy it from me, <laughs> but I never got that money. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Yeah, everybody everybody in the everybody in the in the back in the parking lot just tripping like, oh shit, my and you know, I did it too. Guy. I was faking though. I did it, but oh, I yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. So yeah. you you was going to extort the man into buying the car back. <laughs> That's not what happened. What happened was they started talking about because I I had uh, put some work into it and you know it was just becoming a pain. And I was like, yeah, I mean, if it wasn't a gift, I probably would not sell this. I probably would have sold this car, but it's a gift. So then they was like, oh, you you want to get rid of it? Okay, I was like, I buy it from you. So I said, all right. And then I gave it to him, and he just never gave me the money for it. Wait, he, so he sold y'all cars that you had to put work into? I mean, they didn't have power I mean, like, steering. I mean, come on, them cars look pretty dope when I seen the video, dog. They look showroom ready. It didn't have power steering. It didn't have a sound system. Um, oh, what else? Like, it, like, they, didn't have they all needed a little work if you want to. Okay. If you going to put it in a show, hey, they needed, I, needed a little work for it. I put seat, in but a lot if, of money. My seat uh, didn't go back far enough. I was too close to the wheel. I had to get like. Extension, you see extension. Saying, Leon, Leon, remember me and you had this conversation before about Naeem. Naeem, oh, I'm sorry, Naeem. On, I'll call, but, talk to you after. But well, listen, the cars is <laughs> from Spank, 19. Remember what you said, Spank? Spank, remember yeah. what you said about, about Naeem? It's the same yeah. thing, but we'll but talk the cars about that from 1969 is 2021, man. You gotta <laughs> remodify some things, you know. I put, like, I, I put like 40,000 in my car. Our listeners on Fox Soul said Kev should have gave Spank coal instead of a car. <laughs> coal. Damn, that nigga's was mean, ain't they? Well, I don't, I don't get it. <laughs> coal, yeah, like cold. Santa Claus, niggas a lump yeah, of coal. Like, oh, oh a lump of coal. <laughs> hey, you over there, boy. God damn. I appreciated the gesture. I thought it was really dope. Okay. But, but I, I actually said, it's like, all right, let's say you, your <laughs> wife said, uh, what you over Christmas? Christmas. Or, or, or do you want this? And you're like, nah, baby, I ain't into that. 
And then she showed up on Christmas with that. You like, <laughs> I told you, I didn't. I, want I, I told you, I did not want that. I don't I like said. slippers. I like barefoot. <laughs> so now, if you'd had, if you'd had the, all the old schools, and then boom, had a a Lambo or something sitting there for Naeem, Naeem would have been happy. Absolutely, uh, uh, okay. it could have been something comparable in price. Yeah. Hey, Le Leon, at first he was gonna give everybody a Benz. He was give everybody that the five fifty Mercedes Benz, but he that felt like. Work. He wanted more of a brotherhood behind the car. So you figure old school will bring us together more. Like we actually got a TV show off of it now. Yeah. That's yeah, they got dope. one. So that's dope, dog. Yeah, no, it definitely yeah. working out. Like, like uh yeah, yeah now he's not in it because he sold his car he back. Sold so. the car back. <laughs> well, but why can't why can't I use one of my regular cars? Why I because, gotta use old school? It's a, because old, it's the channel old, old school show. It's about old school. About old school car. What what makes something old school? I got a car that's a 14. No, so that's, that's older not, than that's you. Not, that's yeah. not now, if the car the car date was before you was born, <laughs> yeah, that's old school. That's old school. <laughs> you arrogant bastard. <laughs> Listen, oh, so you guys each bring something different to the table. When I look at your dynamic and I look at the whole crew, man, everybody brings something different to the table. One by one, describe what you bring to the table and and what's your comedic style. What we bring to the table uh, to the crew or, or on you screen? like you you as a person? What do you bring to the crew? And then what's your comedic style? You want me to go first? Yeah, you talking? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's exactly what, do what I, you said, Spank. It's exactly I I bring um, I you know what? I'm let's refer to radio since all of us do radio. So what I bring to the radio show is insight. Um, uh, perspective, you know what I mean? I, I, I like to think outside the box and, and, and just kind of bring a different perspective to things. And uh, also a little controversy. You know, I, I spark arguments and debates all the time, which is can be good radio unless it goes too long. And, and as a comedian, my style is, I would say, original, unlike anyone else. And that's not necessarily a good thing. That's not a, a a pat on the back, but I don't know any comedian that's really like me. So, you know, it's uh, like perverted intellectual pervert. That's how I am. Okay, so that I was just about to ask, do you mean like in 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 cadence and talking on the mic, stage presence, or just in material and and present uh, material and and thought process? Every everything from cadence to style to uh, content. I don't, I don't know anybody. I mean, it may be somebody that has similar one of those things, but not uh, combined like I do. Joey, uh, I definitely feel like it's a, a maturity. It's like I, you know, I'm like I'm ten years older than everybody, so I have a different perspective on life um, and how I see things. Like even on the radio, there's some things that you know, I'm, I'm as people say, I don't talk enough. But I'm also like I want to listen to everybody and hear what they got to say, and then also ask questions because we had actually had one, but just the three of us. And that was kind of, you know, our, our, our podcast that we had was that's it. it was like, if I can hear what somebody's saying and spark a conversation, let the conversation go. And I've done my job by, by, by assisting us to continue it. Um, also, as far as comedy wise, it's my perspective of where I'm at in life, I think it has changed from where, when I was younger, now I'm looking at this from this guy who's uh, 49 years old and uh, how I see things now. Who's 49? Huh? What happened? Who's 49? That, um, what, what I, I thought I said. Uh, hey, Joey. Joey. Hey, Joey, man. Huh? Embrace it, bro. Yeah, you're in I the 50s, 50, bro. Lie, man. Embrace bro. that, man. Don't let, they gonna get there. They wanna get if there. If you gonna lie, lie by a lot of years. You gonna lie. <laughs> you're right. <laughs> lie three by years. years. <laughs> I took 52, only three. Bro. Take that 52, bro. Come on. You're right. That was dumb of me. I should have said 43. <laughs> right. Um, now <nah>, 53. <laughs> hey. I well, think, man, and I like I'm like the uncle though. I do think I feel like I'm 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 the I'm the uncle and the older brother that you know I got these younger brothers who these niggas think they know everything. I think so I do. I, 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 I was thinking grandpa. I was thinking grandpa. But okay, Joe. You know what, Spank? I, what, I, what, what, what I say about you behind your back is right. What everything you say it. about you behind well, your look, back is right. But here's I'm, the I'm, thing about you, Joey. You hmm. are you could be the uncle. But the uncle is putting you say we don't know shit. You supposed to put us up on game. You don't never put us up on shit. <laughs> <laughs> y'all know everything. So I go, I'll let I'll let to step in 
and Hold like on. you know, let me let me put you to the side, nephew. I, no, I let hey, life I let hey. life happen. When life happened, I go like this. I was gonna say something, but fuck it. Hey. You want to hear what I had to say anyway? <laughs> Bang, <laughs> yeah. Comedic style, man. And what do you bring to the crew? Uh, I say rawness. Uh, down to earth. Coolness. I'm a cool. I'm a cool dude. Everybody bro. likes Spank. Everybody yeah, like. I'm everybody the likeable get a little guy. With Spank. Yeah, I'm the likable guy. Uh, a little bit of street. A little. A little. A little bit of books. A lot of street. <laughs> a lot of street. A lot of street. Yeah, a little bit of street. A little bit of books. Yeah. A lot of street. A lot yeah. of street. Yeah. Just, of yeah, I mispronounce <laughs> words from time to time. You know, stuff like that. You know, yeah. like Rello. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the I'm the uncle too, but I'm the drunk uncle. I'm the okay. drunk. I want to have a good time and at the party. Money, you yeah. get it. Money. Yeah. Come on, come here, uncle. Play. Uh, <laughs> Just always want to have a good time. Spank is that uncle that be like this. You want to try this? Come here. Try this. <laughs> mm-hmm. Don't tell your mama now. Sip on it. Uh huh. Uh huh. And also be that uncle that be like she's gonna be thick when she grow up. <laughs> <laughs> He gonna be thick as hell. Oh. I'm gonna keep playing up. Hey, listen, <laughs> we're gonna be back. Hey, Joey. By the way, man, our, our, our viewers on YouTube they showing Joey love. They say Joey look great for his age, man. They calling him Zaddy. <laughs> what is? <laughs> hey, 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 I don't know what that is. Hey, Lee, I look at me. That's right. That's right, nigga. Hey, tell me off. Tell me off camera mean, what that means. Yeah, he only we'll know what that right means. Back, man. More later with Leon. I got the plastic cup boys in the building. It's a party, y'all. We'll be right back.